Good morning. It's 8.30, I'm Cam Parker. I'm a certified personal trainer, three decades of experience. And uh, today is a abs and arms, arms and abs. Hi Barbara, what's up? I'm sitting for just a second letting people come on board, but this is what you'll need for the workout. If you have it, is two gallons of water, two cans of beans. That's always going to be off to the side in case we need it because I use it for adaptations. Hey, Tamara. And uh, we will need a towel, a soft place to be on the ground. You may need a pillow for your knees depending on who you are. Hey, Barbara. And uh, a ball. Now, not everybody has a ball. So, but I want you to have a ball because I'm Cam Burker and having fun under every circumstance is something we're going to explore. Hey, Laura, what's up? So if you have a ball like that, but say you don't because you have a, a really big pit bull that likes to tear up balls all the time, temporarily you can create an aluminum foil ball or you can create a paper ball. Both of those will work. Okay, good morning. Good morning, Laura. Hey, all right. better for the dog? Uh, the paper is probably better if you think your dog is going to tear it up later, okay? So we need balls because it's good for your brain, okay? Um, okay, so so let me see. Are we right on time? I think so. So the first thing we're always going to do is warm up our shoulders if it's an upper body. If it's a pure lower body, I may not warm up the shoulders, but I often do. So I'm going to grab and uh, my cans, all right? So we have two cans. I have stuck with my Harvest brand pinto beans because they weigh about a pound each and we're gonna warm up our shoulders. And as I've always said, uh, working out exercise is a science, but it's not exact science. So it's not like we have to count, count. You know, we are, I am counting, but it's not exact. Okay, so see how that's just a light shoulder press. I have my tummy pulled in a little bit. I'm gonna start warming up. And this is warming up my triceps. We'll be doing triceps, biceps, and some abs today, right? And people, you know, talk to me about doing 30-minute workouts, 45. And the thing is, I've been training for a very long time. And generally, my clients hang out with me for about 55 minutes. So in my brain, the workouts I keep creating are about 55 minutes, counting me talking and us getting to know each other a little bit and, and people jumping on here. Um, you know, running into the class a little late, and running late does not count as exercise. Um, behind me, you might notice a banquet that's been laid out. Uh, that's what it looks like from here, like a buffet. As you, if you're in the Western North Carolina, you know it's about to drop. We almost had a frost last night. We might have a hard frost tonight. So I brought in my sprouts for my mega garden that I'm putting in. All right, so we're just turning these cans getting our posture upright. Now we're gonna pour this out. Pour the beans out, All right? Pour out any weariness or fear we might have. We might as well take a break from that for the next hour and just enjoy taking care of our body, loving and respecting ourselves. And I want you to believe in yourself today and every day. And you represent one member of a larger community known as the world so you believing in yourself, respecting yourself, loving yourself, taking care of yourself makes a huge difference. Not a little bitty difference, but a huge difference to the world now more than ever. Okay, so we've been pouring it out. Now we're going to pour these together. This is warming up very small connections, small muscles in your inner shoulder that people tend to have owies with. That's a very technical term, owies. And so we're warming them up so we, in, in hopes, with the intent that we don't injure them as we move forward and get more fit. You know why they call it fitness, right? Because you fit it in. That's what you're doing right now. You're fitting it in. All right. Hey, Anna, what's up? Keep going. Just pour them out. I'm going to slow down. Notice how I literally make that pouring movement. I wouldn't do this with a glass of water. You should really pour that in your mouth. But if it's soda or something like that, you could just pour it out on the ground. Might as well. All right, all right, B, hi B. You got your cans, you, you moving along with me? Good, good. We're just warming up. I'm doing a little extra because people are jumping in here. We want, don't skip your warm up, that's bad. 
All right, so we did this, right? We poured out. We're going to pour out everything that keeps us from being able to enjoy ourselves in these very unusual circumstances. My heart goes out to people that are working or have relatives that are sick. I'm really sorry about that. I hope you're still taking time to do the best. Take care of yourself. All right, here we go. We're pouring it out. Now we're going to come up in a big arm sweep like that. I'm going to get down to the floor a little bit so you can see me. You don't need to do that. Pouring out and a big arm sweep. So we're going to pour out everything that's going to get in the way of us having an okay day and celebrate our okayness, right? We're going to pour it out, right? At, at work, I always have special spray that cleans up worry or frustration or fear. So you might want to make some of that. It's 50% it's uh, enthusiasm with a whole bunch of water and a few 20 drops of peppermint in a big spray bottle and you just spray that around if you like peppermint not everybody likes peppermint but most people do makes people feel happy Whoa. okay one more time pour it out and a big awesome arm sweep that says I am awesome and then this movement right here I got let me stand back up right standing nice and tall notice how my arms are parallel they're not down here and they're not up here they're right here and I'm just gonna roll that can forward by now you actually might be feeling you're like man these are just one pound cans of beans you might have tomatoes in your hand it doesn't matter and you're just rolling it up and down a few times like this that's warming up the rotator cuffs inner shoulder inside your shoulder all right that's it okay so our shoulders are warmed up all right let's jog in place for a second or yeah jogging in place works now if this shakes your whole house or you're not a jogger like this bothers your feet or your knees something like that you can just lift your knees lift your knees lift them up but you can't stand there and go oh my god i can't believe i'm working out I'm so proud now you got to have have a little puzzle here we go yeah yeah or jog in place. Yeah, yeah, we're just trying to get our heart rate up a bit, get our body physically warm. Remember, if you take a hot shower or a hot bath these days, that takes too long, but a hot shower, or if you have a hot tub, you know, some people do. You can get in there and get out and you're physically warm. So we gotta get warm because when you wake up, your muscles are like jello and working out with jello is not good. You want them to be more like spaghetti, nice and loose. High protein spaghetti by Explore. That's a good spaghetti. All right, here we go. Playing with the screen now. We're running around the house. I know you've been told not to run in the house. That's good advice, but right now we're just running in place. Kind of like safety, in place. Okay. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. You loosen, feeling good? Take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, first one is a very popular exercise. Been around forever, ever since there's been chairs. So you sit down on a chair. Did I mention you need a chair? A chair's a good idea. Hi. Okay, this break brought to you by my dog. We don't need a break yet. You, you missed your cue. Go back out. Go to April. So you're in a chair. Come here, Darby. And. Darby, Darby. Yeah, she's like, what is Cam doing? Okay, so you're like this. Now notice some of you, um, just getting your butt off the chair may be strenuous. Let me move it out here. Come here. Right, so if I'm in a chair and I'm gonna pick my body up, pressing my shoulders down hard, and then I'm gonna dip like that. Now what some of the mistake a lot of people do is they get their butt away from the chair. So we want it to be near the chair. This is gonna focus on the back of the arm, the triceps. All right, here we go. We're just gonna do 12. Magic number is 12 today. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, don't use your legs, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so let's say that was too easy. You can uh, straighten the uh, legs and make it more difficult. And if it was too hard, like I said, you can just do a smaller movement or just hold yourself up off the chair. I'm gonna turn my, uh, my heater actually came on because it's so chilly here. She wanted me to go outside with her. 
Well, she wants a WAOK -okay because certain things need to happen. Yeah. Okay. So I hope everybody's doing good. All right. Chair dips. That's triceps. Now we're going to do biceps. You, this is where the towel. So if you don't have a towel, you could probably use a belt, um, something that's not stretchy. And hey, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I know I'm really busy right now for a little bit. So April will have to take you for that WALK. Yes, she will. She's very nice that way. Okay, so here's a towel, right? This is kind of fun. I just, I've been doing some research. Listen, some of you have equipment. And if you have equipment, just grab weights or whatever. But a lot of people don't have equipment. So I'm going to be doing these workouts assuming someone does not have equipment. But if you have it, you know how to use it for certain things. All right, so check it out. You take the towel. And I like this because there's a balance component. And you, you lift your own leg off the ground. Isn't that cool? So if I'm lifting my own leg, I don't want to make it easy. I don't want to help my, I want to make my arms do the work. But if I want it to be hard, I can push down on the towel. And that affects my balance and my core. So I have to lock in my core, which just means pull my belly in. Stand nice and tall. I'm going to do it sideways so you see what's happening here. I'm going to put my heel or my foot in the towel and I'm going to curl. So I'm going to do eight of these. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, fight, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm going to take a breath because I want to put my other foot in there because it is a definitely pulling on my core and I want to balance that movement. Two hands, gripping the towel. It, Anytime you use a towel when you strength train, you're also strengthening your grip and your forearms. So standing nice and tall, pull your shoulders back, belly button's pulled in, and here we go. Eight of them. One, two, don't make it easy on yourself, three, four, five, six, that's amazing, seven, eight good good now let's say that was you couldn't you couldn't keep your balance right so you have a few choices there if i can't keep my balance i can grip it with one hand right and i have my chair remember your chair is your balance point and i'm gonna i could even probably touch my hip to that chair a lot of people that's all they need is just to touch something that seems solid but i could also do one-handed like that which of course is harder for the bicep, but I'm not tipping, but I am still activating my core. Your balance has a lot to do with your brain connected to your body. There's a big, long, fancy word, so proprioception is the word. I believe I said that, right? Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the chair dips. So I got my chair, okay? Also, hey, if you got weights, I don't care. As long as you're working out with me, you can do bicep curls with your weights. But you might want to try these new things because anything new is good for your brain. And it's very important that you do things that are very good for your brain. Okay. All right, here we are. All right, 12 is the magic number. Ready. I'm going to do straight legs this time. You may need to do bend and push through your legs. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push hard. Nine, push all the way up. 10, 11, and number 12. Very nice, very nice. All right, back to the towel curls. Towel balance curls, bicep curls, I love it. Okay, so I got my big old beach towel here. Doesn't really matter, as long as you can get your foot in here. And here we go, we're gonna do eight and eight. One. Two, three, four, just push down to make that harder. Five, yeah, I like it. Six, seven, eight is great. Remember, if you need a balance point, you're gonna have to do them one handed, right? Use the chair. All right, lean up against the wall, maybe. That could work. Here we go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. I really feel that in my biceps. That makes me very happy. Eight. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Loosen up a little bit. Woo. This is called a superset without a break. We're just going back and forth. All right. Did you feel that? All right. So you know what you're doing? Okay, good. Let's see. Next thing is we're going back to the chair dips. Take a deep breath. <sighs> All right. I'm going to bring it up here so you can see it a little more different angle. All right. So my legs are out straight. Yours could be bent. You may not be doing the dips. You may just be lifting out like that going, okay, I'm holding this. I'm locking my arms. This is the one time you do lock that joint. Soft lock. Now, here we go. 12 is the magic number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your butt near the chair. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, feel that. Make sure you don't get so tired you can't get back on the chair. That would be bad. Okay, and uh, you need a sturdy chair that's not gonna move or break. Very important, or wobble. Okay, very, very important. Okay, getting our towel, getting our towel. I always say today is like trophy day. What do people see when you're walking around? Your arms, and people wanna feel good about their arms, but also your arms are used so much, you want your arms to be really strong. And most people, your arms are stronger than your legs. That's not good. We want our legs to be the strongest leg day on Wednesday. Okay, Monday will be push, pull, chest and back. Today, arms and abs. Do some balance and some fun. Okay, so we got our towel. I'm gonna back up. Did you see what I'm doing here? Now, if I lifted my leg, this feels like nothing. It's the weight of the towel. I am letting my leg relax into the towel. And as I pull up, this time I'm actually gonna make it harder on myself by pushing down on the towel and fighting fighting with myself. I like those fights because I always win. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Notice how I'm doing this. Five. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see it. Six. Keep your shoulders back. Seven. Eight. I'm going to switch feet. Keep going. Nine, 10, 11, come on, 12, 13, 14, do it, 15, don't quit, 16, yes, oh, if I skip a number, it's just a thing, don't worry, okay, eight and eight, all right, was that three sets? I think it was. So once we do three sets, and that's why it's so important once you get the hang of things to increase your intensity. Because three sets, we're done. So now, we're gonna take a little brain break. So what you need is a ball. I have balls. See this? Here you go. Okay, stop giggling, everybody's giggling. All right, so look, if you don't have a ball, a play ball, a bouncy ball, a, uh, I don't, don't get a big ball, like a basketball, don't do that. Okay, so ball of paper, ball of foil. Okay, hey Raven, what's up? Okay, so you're back like this, and you take the ball, and we're just gonna do a balance pose, which is one foot up, and I just want you to toss the ball back and forth. Back and forth, and you say, well, that's, that's easy. Okay, fine, then bat it back and forth. Whoa, whoa. If you have someone in the room, uh, try to bat it, but, or you face each other, or there's three of you, like you got kids with you, you're gonna bat this around with each other, okay? Yeah. Stay on one foot. Stay on one foot. Keep bouncing the ball. The reason this is important. Okay, switch feet. The reason, oh, the reason this is important is because hand-eye coordination, right? I used to always tell people, why is this important? People say driving. Driving. Well, we're not doing a lot of that, but we will be. So we want to keep our reflexes, reflexes up. And some of you are driving. Like the people that are going to work to help us be okay, like grocery store people and nurses and doctors and, and around here, even real estate people are getting to go to work because if you needed a house right now, you need a house right now. Boom, boom. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see how the 
aluminum fall goes. Okay, so like this, both feet down, both feet down, back and forth, back and forth. Can you throw it behind you? Oh, and catch it. Can you do that? Throw it behind. Oh, see that? Throw it behind me. Why is that important? Because it's called hand-eye coordination. I'm going to try the other hand. I'm not as good. Whoa, I did it. Yes. Do it again. Whoa. Do it again. Okay. Balance out. One foot up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Can you bat it? Bat it one hand only. One hand only. Woo, woo. Okay. Change feet. Change hands. One hand only. Whoa. 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 Come on. Don't just stand there and watch me do it. Come on. It's good for you. Trust me. And if you got little kids, they might even giggle, which is good for everybody. Hey, Roy, what's up? All right. So, next set. All right. So, you're going to need to get on the ground. Some of you don't like to do that. So, I'm going to actually lower this down because you do have to get on the ground to work out. You're going to need a pillow, I think. Right? Okay. So, I'm on my... I'm going to get on my knees. Now, I'll show you alternatives to this, but there's, I really want you to attempt. All of us are going to do a modified push-up. However, if you're really advanced and 10 push-ups is a no big deal to you, then do 10 push-ups. Okay, so nearby, you're going to have your cans, and you're going to have your water. Your water so let me give you an alternative I'm going to show it to you first so it's okay just watch a lot of people want to just rush through their workout I'm not like that I want to give you instructions so I'm on my knees and I'm going to come down into a modified push-up position this is table modified push-up is longer meaning it's flat you definitely couldn't set a glass of water on this table right and then I'm gonna come down and do that push-up okay Let's say you're just, I'm not doing on the ground, Cam. I'm not going to do it. That modified push-up is actually easier than a chair push-up. So here's a chair push-up. Like that. Okay? Push-ups are the best for your triceps. You could run to your kitchen. You could run to your kitchen and do the modified push-up there. But if you're going to be there, I want you to keep your soup cans or your judge right there next to you. So go ahead and set up. Do, 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 mm -hmm. do, do. Okay, you've got to be set up now. All right, so for you, those that are going to do modified push-ups or push-ups, what you're going to do, we're going to do 10 push-ups, and then say, I'm, say I do number 10, then I'm going to either grab my cans, stay on my knees, and I'm going to press up, pulling my shoulders back. Press up. This is tricep with some shoulder. Shoulders are something I always add a little bit. So if I'm advanced, I got my two cans and I'm gonna superset my push-ups with my presses. Okay, everybody ready? All right, I'm gonna do my modified to show and I'm gonna set these over here so they're visually not in the way. All right, here we go. Okay, 10 is the magic number. Ready, go. One, two, three push-ups, four push-ups, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, wherever you are doing your push-ups, grab your weights for your shoulder presses. Put them right here, pull your shoulders back, and go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right now, some of you are like, I cannot do any push ups at all, or you can't do a press with weight. It's okay. Do it empty handed. Honestly, you could tighten your muscles with your brain and do ten air push ups and ten. Shoulder presses, whatever you can do safely is what will work and move you forward when it comes to strength and your brain's ability to connect to your muscles and make you more agile, more fit. Okay. All right. So the next one is a, a crab. It's actually one of my least favorite exercises, the crab. So you have a choice. You can just crab 
which means lift your butt like this. And the reason for me it's not my favorite is because I have limited range in my shoulders, which I'm working on. All right? And you lift up. So let's say though this is no problem for you. You could walk around. You could crab around. This is one chance to be crabby. It's okay. Just walk around while I count to 15. All right? I'm going to stay in place. I'm going to lift really hard and do 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, one more, no, nope, there's more, ten, we're going to fifteen now, keep walking around, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, hold it, okay, we're down, woo, so you might have felt that in your shoulders, you might have felt that in your hips, you might have felt it in your lower back a little bit, if you feel it in your lower back, you got to squeeze your abs tighter, I feel it a lot in my shoulders, because my shoulders don't want to open up that way, and I'm working on that, okay, all right, so now, we're going to go back to back with that, okay, you ready, no, yes, let's do that, okay, so, Push-ups. Get your, get your, uh, your uh, go back to the kitchen and get your uh, knees on a pillow if you're um, on your floor. And we're gonna walk out, right? And got a nice solid push-up position. My glutes are tight, my abs are tight. I'm gonna do 10 modified push-ups or you could do regular, okay? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to win. Good. Now pick up your weights for your shoulder presses. All right. On my knees, right here, locking my. Glutes are tight, my belly's tight. One, go in the 10. Two, three, four. Make sure you have good form. Look at my chest, it's out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. That was really good. Really, really good. Okay, now we get to be crabby again. We're gonna be crabby, all right? So I'm sitting down. Now, some of you don't like to be on the ground. It's okay, you need to be able to get on the ground, get off the ground, get on the ground, get off the ground. Okay, come over. Now let's say, I don't wanna be on the ground. I'm not gonna do it, and you're just sitting there. Don't do that. You're on a chair. You don't wanna do the crab on the ground, and you push your body way out like that. Lock those arms that we're working on tricep and shoulders. Yes, like that connection of the tricep into the shoulder ah, like that yes okay all right so that was a few bonus few bonus for demo i'm on the ground we're gonna be crabby here we go ready one what are you doing two three four hi five i know i know it's really fun six did you hear crab seven eight Nine, you can walk around too. Remember, you can crab around, be crabby. 10, I'm gonna walk over here. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job. Way to lock those arms out. Awesome, awesome. All right, you gotta do all that one more time. So, take a sip of water if you need it. I know I need one, here you go. Come over here. Hmm. All right. Thank you for joining me in my living room. I will be outside when the wind's not blowing so hard that it's making the house move. That, and you do, all you would hear is You wouldn't hear my voice. All right. That's why my plants are inside. Those are my plants back here. I'm planting a huge garden. 
I'm very, I'm envisioning lots of harvest. Okay, that I'm gonna share with you and my neighbors. All right, so here we go, no more stalling. Push-ups. This time I am gonna do a regular push-up, but I am gonna demonstrate one modified. Make sure you do your modifieds well. All right, so we're here like this. My butt is down but tight, my stomach's tight. One, keep going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, go right to your shoulder weights, right to them, don't wait. Here we go, doing ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Find your way back to the floor. We're going to get crabby. All right, so you're sitting on the floor. Your shoulders are away from your ears. You have your hand knit socks on. Hopefully, hugs for your feet. All right, shoulders are down. Lifting your butt as high as you can. One, you can do this on the chair, remember. Two, you can move around the room. Three, four. If you're moving around the room, use me as your timer. Five, six. Come on, seven. Have fun. Eight. Chase each other from crab position. Nine. Ten. Five more. Eleven. Notice how I'm getting up higher now. Twelve. That's what happens when you work out. You get more fit right in the moment. Thirteen. Fourteen. Keep your shoulders down. Fifteen. Hold it. And down. Whew. And some of you are going, I thought we were doing arms and abs, but everything, yeah, what you have to remember is when you do a push-up, best exercise for the tricep, believe it or not. And then we superset it to a shoulder press, which is good for the shoulder, but it's also good for the tricep, so we sneak in more. Then we do the crab, which is really good for your core and your brain's connection to your core, but because you have your arms back and they're locked out, it's more tricep. So we just did tricep, tricep, tricep. Yes, very good. All right, Whew. next thing, we're done with those, okay? Um, is going to be more core related. It's called a V up. V up. Get your ball, your ball nearby because we're going to incorporate those. So I'm on a nice thick carpet and everyone, if you're in a chair, you can do this from a chair. So let me demonstrate from a chair first. All right. Get some water if you need to while you're listening. You're going to lean back and put those knees up. And here you are, you're in a V. Okay, so we're gonna do that, but we're gonna add a component. We're gonna add a brain component, all right? So I'm in my chair, I'm leaning back, picking up my feet, and I'm gonna toss this ball back and forth while squeezing my abs as tight as I can. Yes, okay? All right, so that's on the chair. Make sure that chair is stable, that that chair can't fall or break. Very strong chair. You can do it on the couch, but that's not permission to just chill out on the couch. You have to lean back on that big cushy stuff. All right, so I'm leaning back. I'm in my V, and we're just gonna toss this ball back and forth. We're not gonna think about time. And if I feel that in my back, I'm gonna set my heels down, but I'm still gonna squeeze my abs and toss this ball back and forth. And you're like, Cam, that's easy. How about you lace the ball in a figure eight? Figure eight. Yes, yes, if you have a weighted ball, right? Don't toss a weight back and forth between your hands, right? Let's do circles on one leg, circles on the other leg. Yes, getting those hands involved. Okay, back and forth, 10 tosses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Very good, all right. You felt that, I hope, right? Okay, now, married to that is gonna be a trunk twist. Okay, so let's say you're someone watching me, you're like, Cam, I'm not gonna get on the ground. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate chair first. So you're the person in the chair, that's fine. This is all about y'all being fit, 
fit it in. So say I'm not on the ground because it's too hard for me to get up and down or I have an injury or something like that. Please uh, be cautious if you have an injury with what I'm suggesting because I can't see you and I don't know you so uh, I don't I want to make sure you stay safe. So I'm in the chair and I'm gonna face my belly button off the front of the chair. I'm not gonna turn my trunk. And then I'm gonna pick my feet up and go like this. All right, this will duplicate a lot of what I'm gonna do on the ground. Here's one catch though. You have to either put the ball that you've made between your knees. If you're gonna do a knee like that, don't, okay, keep your, your body straight off the chair, knee up and over. Or if you're like, well, that's actually too easy, put it between your feet and you gotta hold the ball. Don't drop the ball. Don't drop the ball. We want all our leaderships to not drop the ball. Mm, okay, very good. That's, that's almost as hard as doing it on the floor. All right, so that's the chair alternative. Now I'm on the floor and I'm gonna, I have two choices. I can be at 90 degree angles with my legs Take the ball, put it between my knees. My arms are out in a cross position, right? To my left and my right. I'm gonna lay the body to one side. As soon as I feel my shoulder coming up, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna go any further. And then I'm gonna go all the way to the other side, like this. Now the key to this exercise is you have to squeeze your abs tight. You can't just passively do this. That's not even good for you. Right now, let's say you're somebody that you're like, wow, that's really easy. Well, great. Now take that ball, Mr. or Mrs. That's really easy or miss and hold it, the ball between your feet. Arms are straight. Concentrate on squeezing your abs as tight as you can. Get those legs all the way over. Yeah. And then all the way over like this. Okay, good. Remember, if you're with other people, don't put your feet in their face. It's just not nice. All right, so pick which one you're gonna do. Are you gonna do the chair? You're gonna bend your legs lying down or you're gonna do straight leg? Okay, I'm gonna bend my legs for the first round. I'm gonna squeeze that ball between my knees and with me, I'm not gonna tell you how many yet. Just keep going. Ready, to the side. If your shoulder lifts, you went too far. Try not to lift your shoulders off the ground. That's number two. I gotta squeeze my abs more while I'm talking. Three, keep going. Four, you might drop that ball, put that ball back where it goes. Five, six, you might also travel, like go that direction because you're moving. Seven, keep going, keep your abs tight. Eight, you got this, keep going, keep going. Nine, not a rush thing, it's not a hurry thing. 10, keep going, we're gonna go to 12. Okay, I told you, here we go. 11, and 12, good job. That was awesome. Give yourself a round of applause. Okay, good. So, we're gonna start with that. Um, uh, okay, where am I? I know what I'm doing. We're gonna do that again. <laughs> There we go. We're going to repeat that. So the first thing, just when you write your notes, uh, do yourself a favor, write them more neat the second time. Yeah, that was me looking at my notes going, okay, very messy, very messy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is that V, v hold. You can do this in the chair. So you lean back, you have your ball, and you're going to bring it across like this. So you're going to toss it back and cross. Yep, yep, we're just going to hold this while we're squeezing our abs as tight as we can. We can take the ball around the leg, around the leg, around the leg. We can take it around the other leg. Woo! I dropped it around the leg. You can do that with a weighted ball. It's called a medicine ball, right? And you bring it back and forth, the medicine ball. Yes, yes. There you go. If you have someone else in the room, you can toss the ball back and forth while you're holding, squeezing your abs as tight as you can. If you feel your back, put your heels down, but keep holding, squeezing your abs. Squeeze your abs, toss the ball higher, mm, toss it higher. Woo, look at that. Ooh, ooh, I got, and you're down. All right, that was good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the truck twist where you're lying on your back, all right? Or you're on the chair and you're gonna squeeze. I'm gonna put the ball between my feet this time, all the way up. All right, here we go. Down like this, 
One. All the way across. And two. Squeeze your abs very tight. Do not release them. Three. At any point during the exercise. And four. Hardest part of this exercise for me is holding this ball between my bare feet here. Or my, my knitted feet. Oh, here we go. Keep going. Keep going. We're going to call this number eight. Nine. Oh, I dropped the ball. I'm cheating now. Go all the way across. Ten. If you're in the chair, make sure you're squeezing your abs. Eleven. And one more. Twelve. Yes, very good. Oh, you can definitely feel those right across. They, they work the ab muscles that run around your trunk. They're kind of like, I call it part of your Spider-Man suit. They're diagonal to your, to your core. Very important. There's fancy Latin names like uh, serratus. Okay? All right, so take a deep breath. Sit up tall. Even if you're in the chair, sit up tall. We're going to lean back. We're going to hold our feet off the ground. I'm squeezing my abs as tight as I can. I'm going to take the ball. I'm going to go round a leg, round a leg. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Round that leg. Pull it in. Pull it in. Squeeze tighter. Round the other leg. Yes. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now do figure eight. Oh, oh, you're talking about a brain thing. Oh, my gosh. Brain thing. Brain thing. Brain thing. Infinity. We will not be inside forever. That's the infinity set. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, toss the ball back and forth ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twist a little bit. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's good. That's enough of that. Okay. All right. So I cheated a little on the net last one because I opened the ball up a little bit. So I'm going to use my aluminum foil ball. Now remember, if you're in the chair, you can move your legs and cross. These are called, uh, some people call them iron crosses where you're moving your legs, but you got to keep your trunk still while you move your legs. On the ground, my arms are out. I'm pressing my arms down, pressing my shoulders down to make it, if you're more advanced, you're going to put it between your feet. If you're not, you're going to put it between the ball between your knees and, and go back and forth from there, holding your abs tight. I'm going to try it again from my feet. No cheating this time. So I could squeeze the ball really tight. Okay, here we go. One. Keep those shoulders down. If they pop up, you went too far. Two. If you feel it in your back, you need to bend your knees. Three. There we go. Four. Nice and slow with control. Keep your abs tight. Five. Ooh. And six. Keep going. Seven, squeeze your abs even tighter. Eight, tighter than you thought you could, and keep breathing. Nine, squeeze your abs. Ten, don't relax. Eleven, one more, and twelve. Oh. Okay, we get a little break. All right, that's a water break. Hurry up, because it's almost over. That's right. Okay, water. Water, here's to you. Everybody that's going to watch this, is watching this, wish they watched it. Just to everyone dreaming that they could use this time to get in shape, all you got to do is fit it in, everybody. Believe in yourself and fit it in. That's why it's called fitness. You know why they're called weights? Because they're waiting for you to pick them up. That's why. Hmm. Uh, okay, all right. All right, by the way, don't use the term lose weight because you don't want to lose muscle and you don't want to lose bone and you don't want to lose heart, you don't want to lose money, you don't want to lose hardly anything in your life, right? Use the term burn fat. I want to burn fat. Just let the term lose weight go, okay? It's no good. It's too vague and specific. Let's be precise. Let's be precise. I love you. That's a verb, by the way. I love you, right? Be precise. I am a fat burner. I burn fat. Right? Okay, good. Just remember that. All right, next round, last round. Okay, so I'm gonna show an exercise, bodyweight exercise on the ground for the tricep called Tri-Rise. Tri-Rise comes from the P90X, Tony Horton. Big shout out to you, right? I really like it because you don't need any equipment. For some people, it may be too tough 
or their shoulders get in the way and things like that. So an alternative for that is any other tricep exercise. Um, but this will be singles, so I'm gonna give the alternative first. If you cannot do what I'm about to show you, I would encourage you to sit, kick a leg back, or you don't really have to kick a leg back, but brace here and kick this back. Kick your arm back. The tricep kickback, in my opinion, is the best for hitting the inside of the arm. When we hold our arms up and we don't like how it looks, hitting that uh, muscle is a kickback, and the tri-rise also hits that. So that's your alternative to getting on the ground and doing what we're gonna do. You can do it with a can, but you have to remember to get your arm straight. Do you see how still I am? I'm not doing this. Right, I have my arm up and I kick it back. Okay, so try rise. Let me put this out so you can see me better. All right, so I'm gonna lie down on my side, right? And this can be really hard. Okay, but you can do it. Legs are bent. The arm you're gonna use is next to your armpit. That's what you gotta remember, right? It's next to you, almost touching your body. It's right there, hand is wide open, right? Then the arm you're not using gives you a hug. And what we're gonna do is try rise Tricep, push up like that. Did you see that? So, and, and I just fell down, don't do that. Right, so you push and come down slow. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna start moving your legs and it's not cheating, but do your best to just keep your legs still. If you have to straighten this leg, for some reason that counterbalance helps if you can't get up. If you cannot do that, it's no problem. Go to the chair, do the kickbacks. Um, one day you can do this, okay? Okay, we're gonna do 10, you ready? Take a deep breath, concentrate, core's pulled in, ready, go. One, two, three, keep this shoulder out of your ear, four, that's the hard part, five, you got this, come on, come on, six, notice how I'm using my leg to counterbalance a little bit, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, ten. All right, now if it feels too easy, that probably means that, that you haven't isolated into the arm and you're using your body as a lever. And you're just kinda, so you have to kinda relax your lower body, okay? And you can always uh, use the name I give, like Tri-Rise or Body Weight Triceps and do your research. There's so much material out there. You can find what you wanna do. The reason I'm doing it with you is because it holds me accountable and hopefully you enjoy yourself more because it is it is somewhat of an interactive thing. Right, Mary? Okay, good. I hope you're doing this, Mary. Okay. All right, so here we go. Um, we're gonna take the arm we're gonna use, open the hand, put it next to my armpit. I'm on my side. If your side hurts, you can't really do this on a couch. It's too soft. You gotta be on the ground. So you might be able to put a pillow under your hip if that hurts. All right, then the, the arm I'm not using is gonna hug me and I'm gonna push up like that. Okay, here we go, that's one, two, try to relax your lower body, three, four, go all the way to straight arm, five, keep this shoulder out of your ear, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, you got this, come on. And 10, very good. We're all learning, you're learning something new today. And when I did that towel bicep curl earlier, that was new to me. I tried it last night, cause I'm like, that's cool. I was researching for y'all. Okay, so now we're gonna add in another twist, right? Where we're, you can do the chair twist I showed earlier, but we're on the ground, it's called a Russian twist and because I'm really trying to stimulate the sides of your core, okay? So we're gonna take a ball, we're just gonna do 10 of these. We're gonna go to the side, I'm gonna actually turn my shoulders. Then I'm gonna turn my shoulders. So I'm touching the ball, or I can throw the ball and catch it on the other side, right? Yep, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Of course, you gotta get a good toss. Eight, nine, and ten. And the whole idea there is to just integrate your brain, your eye hand coordination into your body, into your core. Okay, so now um, we're gonna do a side plank. We're not gonna hold it for long. We're just gonna count to 10 seconds each. And I want you, and we're finishing up right now. We're in our last round. Okay, so if I'm on the ground, a lot of you know how to do this. My, if, uh, if you're, you can have uh, legs bent or legs straight. I'm gonna do it with legs bent. I'm gonna keep my shoulder out of my ear and I'm gonna lift, right? Now there's lots of variations. I can pull with my arm. This is how I like to do it. I'm lifted and we're just gonna do a hold. I'm pulling my belly button in and I'm tightening my glutes. All right, we're just holding it, holding it, holding it, a little more, a little more. Holding, pulling the belly button in, and we're down. That's about 20 seconds, okay? Switch to the other side. You say, Cam, I'm not on the ground. How do I do this? Well, I would suggest you just hold plank for the whole time I'm doing it, because uh, you gotta be careful with a chair and a side plank. That chair's gotta be really stable. You might be able to do it to the couch, the beach. Might be safer. Okay, so we're on the other side, all right? My belly's pulled in. Notice how I'm flat. I'm flat from my knees to my shoulders. I'm not, I don't have my legs out in front of me like that. All right, and I also can do straight leg, okay? Really important to keep the distance between your shoulder and your neck. Don't collapse right there, that's really bad for you. So keep that open. I'm gonna lift my hips, stretch out my arm, opening my hand up. I'm channeling love from the planet Earth up through my elbow out my body, out my hand to everyone on the planet. Yes, that's what we're doing right now as we hold this position, which is really good for our hips and our abs and our brain. Yes, and our shoulders and for each other. It's good for everybody. Squeeze everything. Squeeze your abs, hold it a little longer, a little longer, and down. Okay, so here we are. We're down here. I had that arm up in the air. I'm gonna take that hand I'm gonna put it next to my armpit. I'm gonna give myself a hug with the other one. All right. And I and if you're not doing the tri rise on the ground, you're doing the kick back on the chair with a jug of water, hopefully, or a can. Ready? Go. Ten of these. One, two, three, four, five. Depending on where your legs are, is how hard it gets. Six, seven. Keep it difficult. Eight, two more, make it challenging. Nine, and 10. Ooh, that was good. All right, other side. All right, I'm lying down. The arm I'm gonna use goes next to the armpit. The other arm hugs me. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five. You got this. Six, push hard. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. All right, we're gonna go from here for a V pose. If you're in the chair, same same idea. You're gonna lean back in the chair, pick your feet up off the ground, and this V pose with a twist. So I'm gonna twist my shoulders, not my legs. My legs stay still. Touch the ground if I'm on the floor. One, two, or toss the ball. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, whoa, nine, ten. All right, now we're almost done. This is it. This is the end of the workout. I'm on the ground. I'm going to do a side plank. If you're really not sure about side planks, just hold plank. Everyone that's been working out with me knows how to do that. All right, side plank. Lift your hip. I'm going to go straight leg. Here we go, we're channeling out. My belly's pulled in, my glutes are tight. Sometimes you forget to do that part. Hold it in, a little more, you got this. This is about 20 seconds. You got it, we're almost done. Head is neutral, don't let your head dangle, don't stick your chin out. Pull it back, pull that arm back. 
and down. Very nice. Okay, we're switching to the other elbow. All right, remember you can put an elbow in a chair, just make sure that chair can't slide. I would suggest probably the softness of the couch if you wanna be at an angle to make it more doable. Arms up, I'm gonna go straight leg, I'll lift the hip, this is a side plank. Head is neutral, pull the arm back, open your chest. Don't collapse between your neck and your shoulder. And keep holding and thinking about love. Love being channeled from me to you. I love you. We got this. This is the end of the workout. We're doing great. Hold it. Thank you so much for joining me in this workout. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your abs. Oh, go ahead. Squeeze everything. And down. And we are done. You made it. Oh, my God. Dave, thanks for being here. And thanks for being here. I hope if you were just checking in and seeing what I was up to, that you go back and do the workout. The warm up. And now we're going into a cool down. It means a lot to me to have people here with me in the morning and to do this with me. It's 8.30 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It'll be for the duration. Uh, someone has encouraged me to take them all and post them to a YouTube channel, which I kind of started, I don't know, six years ago or something, and I, I'll, I'll figure out. Somebody can help me do that. Katie, you're very welcome. I'm glad you're here. So let's cool down, all right? So I'm going to sit down to cool down. Sit down, it was an arm workout, so we wanna stretch our triceps. You can do this from a chair, of course. Hey, Darby, how are you? She's gonna help with the cool down. So my arm's up, I'm gonna come behind, and I'm going to, I don't really, I can just, for me, <laughs> my shoulders are so tight. You're funny. Uh, you can pull this back, is what you're trying to do. But when you pull it back, you don't wanna over arch your back. I, I know, you're ready to go. I'm not gonna say any word that will get you too excited. Oh, she was fine. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, other arm here, look up. Notice when you look up, you might feel it here, but you can also pull it back. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's good, all right, good. All right, let's bring this to the front like this. I, I'm not gonna say anything right now because you're just gonna go crazy if I give you my attention. I love you, I love you. Okay, I'm gonna say that. All right, switch arms. All right, Darby believes in me. Absolutely, don't you? Yes. All right, like this. Okay, now we're gonna stretch this way. Really, really stretch, really stretch. Even if there's a dog licking your face. Stretch, stretch. You should feel it down your side. Other way. Stretch. Breathing deep right now. All right, we're gonna, bending at the waist, not just rounding your shoulders, we're gonna stretch forward. Stretch forward. Hi, how are you? This is, you, you are so photobombing me. Absolutely, I mean, this is a video bomb. Yes, I know, I know, it's very exciting. You want this? Hey, get that, get that, you want that? Oh, get that, get that. She just likes to fetch those uh, dream bones. That's her main thing. Dream is, and she plays hide and go seek. It's quite fun. All right, take a deep breath. Really stretch now. Oh, that feels good. Mm. Okay, I think they are doing puppy yoga somewhere. I think so. Yes. All right, everybody, we're gonna breathe together now. We're gonna breathe together. I want everyone every day to think about taking deep breaths. It's so important to exercise your lungs. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take a deep breath. All right, do that again. All right, wait, wait, wait. One more, all right? I'm gonna send love out to the whole world and especially right here to ourselves. You are important. Say that, I am important. One more deep breath. Good job. Thank you for everybody sending me good wishes. Tell, share this, get people to work out on a regular basis. They say being in a routine is the best thing right now for everybody. Uh, so this is the time to fit fitness in and uh, to eat well and to drink water and to play and pray and be with each other and hugs and whatever it does that makes you feel safe and whole. That's what I want you to do. Have a great day and I'll see you Monday morning, 8.30.